change of plans slightly. Um, we are doing um, a challenge. Uh, we're doing our challenges with Jake and Joel. Um, now there's the challenge options. Best of three coin flip is what we're doing. Uh, so win or riot. Oh man, that seems fair. So uh, K Kipolo is uh, our our team leader for for this round. Um, did I do the right deck? I think I did the right deck. Play uh, that. No, I didn't need to do that. Challenge options, best of three, coin flip, yep. I was using the round one deck. I'm going to win with that, am I? going to play, uh, so we're playing goblins now. I haven't got authority that uh, team, team the other team. What team are we? We're team, team 10, I think we are. Um, so we're team 10, we chose a tribe. Um, we are on... We're on goblins, uh, so we decided that goblins was pretty strong, um, and then we got paired up against vampires. So I don't know how strong or not it is. Just having trouble with the challenge, so I'm trying to suss out what's going on with that. Ah, oh, there we go. There's the challenge. The challenge is up. So we're playing Jake and Joel. Joel. Um, apparently, this is Joel. I guess. So I made some. I did some play testing, and then I did a last-minute change. There is no goblins in that, but Scorch Mark and two shocks is too good to ditch. Two, four, six. He's meld to six on vampires. No first turn, so that's good for us. We'll pass. So our deck list is somewhere. Um, Dusk Legion Zealot, he can draw a card, that's fine. Oh, drawing all the land. So what what happened was I was getting I wasn't getting enough land, so I put more land in. And now I'm getting way too much land. But that's okay. Uh, I think we'll just take one here and sort of not let him know about the shocks and the scorch mark. Blade juggler. We'll scorch mark the blade juggler. Two mana open, so why not? He's gonna take some more damage. Man, more We're not gonna have a problem playing the lava um, lava hexes that are in the deck later on. But gosh. Take another damage there. Just wanna make sure that we've got shocks, cause um Daybreak Chaplain, that's a human cleric. So there's rules and bits and pieces for this, wow, Vampire Neonate, um, for this round. Um, not super 100% certain. Um, I can find them. I will find them and I'll think about what I'm going to do this turn. Oh, so we're going to Daybreak Chaplain. Oh dear. That's okay. Mm. We'll play the firebrand. And then I think we double shot the chaplain. And then pass a turn. So, no color restrictions. Uh, any rarity lands, non-land cards must be pauper legal. Uh, a minimum of 50% of your non-land cards must be creatures, and a minimum of 50% of those creatures must be of your team's tribe. So we went goblins. Um, definitely no, so pass, then we'll block him. Block, 
the full damage. We'll type that out. But yeah, so it's all pauper. Um, so keep an eye out if he's playing anything that's not. So an instigator. It's a start, I guess. So we've got Goblin Gatherings, we've got um, Goblin Bogget, um, we've got Lava Strikes, we've got Lightning Strike, Shock, um, the other thing, what's the other thing, Scorch Mark, Lava Axe, we've got all those good things in there. Um, it's just whether or not we find them, because he's got an Epicure of Blood. So can that attack? It can attack, okay. Hmm. Whenever you gain life, each opponent loses one life. Okay. So we can't swing into that. Those can technically attack. Oh, I think this is going to get away with us because we've just had so much land. Look, another land. Man. I should have kept it at what it was. Now he's going to start tapping those neonates. It's the win con. Neonates and Epicures. So gotta hold those shocks. Alright, don't worry about the daybreak chaplain. It's another neonate. Is he gonna attack? No, so we're not gonna do anything about that. Uh we will play the rubble bout. My idea was that the goblins have got big friends. Um, <laughs> uh, next, next. I'm going to attack and hopefully he'll block with a neonate. Oh, he's not. He's not going to block. Okay, that's fine. Uh, in turn. Oh, this is a bit, this is a bit hearty. We're losing six life every time he does one of these. Oof. Yep, there goes the recluse. Final payment in a common slot. Okay. I didn't know that. So the Epicure is going to swing in at us for four, and then we lose, basically. Because all of those do six. We don't have any sweepers or anything. Yeah, 100% dead on board. Oh, and another mountain. Oh, nice. All right, so we'll concede out of that. And we'll go to game of the second. Because we're going to play all three of our games anyway. Um, so if he, even if he wins two games, um, we'll choose to play first. That looks better. We didn't even get in. Oh, we got one of those. <coughs> so we've got to remember. Um, oh, what am I Uh, we've got to remember to not um, let these survive. We've got to remember to actually play things properly. See if we do better this turn. Uh, that can come out. That's fine. Lose some life. Pass. Hopefully this is a lightning strike. Yes. That is a lightning strike. So we'll clear that. And then just see if he blocks that. Blocks, that's cool. Hopefully we get some more lightning strikes in hand. Got a bogger brute there as well. So that'll be good. Alright, 
What's Neonate? Neonate's a fi uh, not Neonate, the other one. Epicure. Is that a five? Or a block. Final payments, two. Or a card drawer as well. So, we will scorch mark that. Just because, get in for three, and then Goblin Gathering. So we've got three Goblin Gatherings in the deck. Um, now I really wanted to have something, oh wow. Man, the times that you forget that that's in the deck, or that that's at common. All right, so he's down to nine, back to 10. Epicure is a five drop, and Neonate is a one drop. Ugh, revitalize as well. This is a pretty solid deck. Ooh, shock and a blade juggler. All right, what's he digging for? Next, swing with the boggit in the turn. Yeah, I think I went too many lands. I went 24 and I should have probably gone 22. That's right. Daybreak Chaplain. Is he going to attack with the blade juggler there? Probably not. Hopefully we draw a shock or something. Shock or a lightning strike would be great. Another land. Wow. Way too many lands in this deck. Another revitalize. They all got an inheritance. I must say, I'm I'm playing true to um ugh, I'm playing true to the um the way that they roll. So next, next, attack with that. What's he gonna block with those? Done. So we will lightning strike the blade juggler. Kill the Daybreak Chaplain. Still lose a life, but that's, that's some good trades. Hmm. I don't like. Wow, now there's two of them. Heck. So he's built the whole deck around Epicure of Blood, which makes sense in a, in a pauper. Um, thing. Oh, just more land. You can sack both of these now. Oh, there's six. Ah, oh, dead on board though, aren't we? Ah. Oh. Um. Okay. I mean, I was dead on board, but that's fine. Just stick the old knife in. It's cool. It's a really good deck, though. All right, so So now we need to play the last one as a best of one. Um, and I win. Well, no we don't. So it's just best of three. Uh, there we go. So we lost. And that was bad. 
but that's okay. We'll go back uh, to cracking packs now. <laughs> um, yeah, that, that didn't work. But we'll drop the stream. We'll go back to cracking packs. All right. 